everyone, welcome back to my channel, Tom Cat Stitchery. I'm Whitney, and I'm here with my wonderful friend Ginny that you guys have seen before. Um, and we're gonna be talking about both Ginny's fall capsule and kind of her thoughts and how she wrapped up with the fall capsule, and then what she's adding to her, what she's taking away, and what she's adding to mm -hmm. her capsule for winter. But before we get into that, today is Friday, which means it's Love Notions Feature Friday pattern, and that is, guys, the Tessa sheath dress is today's $5 pattern. Um, you need to grab it if you don't have it already. For $5, it is my favorite knit, knit sheath dress. I'll pop footage of me in it, so you can see. Um, it's my LBD, my little my little blue dress, because um, I don't I don't really do black, but it's a phenomenal pattern, and the tops can be mixed and matched with the Sybil Illusion skirt, so you can make all sorts of knit dresses. It's a fantastic pattern, and I highly recommend it. Um, okay, so Tomcat 10 gets you an additional 10% off the sale price, so uh, head over there if you don't already have that pattern. It's a really, really good one. Okay, on that note, I'm also wearing my glasses and probably getting a lot of uh, glare. Sorry about that. Okay. I have to wear my glasses because otherwise I won't be able to well, see. Well, I also can't see. And you'll notice that Jenny and I actually have very similar glasses, so we're slowly morphing into well, one another. 100% not intentional. Not intentional. Not intentional. Okay, well let's talk about fall. Okay, so fall was tough because I got my colors done last year and I realized that fall colors and a cool summer aren't really the same thing. So I couldn't have like my oranges and my browns and, and all those autumnal colors that I wanted. But I looked at my card and I decided to go with a purple for the fall. So one of the things that I had for fall was this amazing jacket. I have worn it so much and I've gotten so many great compliments on it. Um, so I really like it, and it is going to move into winter with me because it's warm. Mm -hmm. It's warm. Uh, so the the things that I showed you guys in the what was that September? It was like ninety five. I'll pop a link up to that video right here if you want to go back and watch our her fall plans and all I'm of that. I'm pretty sure it was ninety degrees the day we shot it that. It might have been. Yeah, mm -hmm. but now it's about thirty. Yeah. Um, so there's a few things I added to my fall capsule. I added. Um, this really great shacket. It's a ready to wear from a home shopping company. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So good. I added these jeans. <laughs> uh, they are a high waist button uh, fly dark wash jeans. And I added a pair of black pants too. Um, Cause I knew that they would go on into the fall. Plus they're high waisted, plus they're straight leg, kind of baggy, like what the kids are wearing these oh, yeah. days. Oh yeah, gotta keep current. Days. What else are you wearing that's new to your wardrobe? Oh, look guys what I'm wearing. <laughs> Check it out. This is the new Evola tank from uh, Cashmere from the Cashmere Club in their December pattern. And it's made in a silk charmeuse. I had just enough in this color, which clearly is meant for Jenny. Um, and so yes, she's got a nice little silk charmeuse shell. It is so soft. <laughs> it is so soft. I can't wait for you to see, to get the slip dress made out of this. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. It's going to be amazing. Yeah. Um, so a couple of the things that I'm going to add to my winter, uh, that I'm, I'm going to keep in my winter wardrobe that Whitney made me was this amazing dress. Look at it. It's this, so pretty. This is the closet core pattern NYX dress. So this was not one of our plans when you saw us last, mm -mm. Um, but this pattern was released since then and I sent a picture of it to Jenny and I think it was just, oh my gosh, I want one, please, yes, please, please. Immediately, immediately. <laughs> I have many, many plans for this. Because if you look at this, I'm gonna bring it up here. Those are partridges on there. Oh, there we go. Partridges. Is yep. this not the best Christmas dress ever? <laughs> right so um I, I love this i love this i got some tan booties yeah. uh, that was one of my pro my planned purchases this fall with mm -hmm. some tan booties another thing that i totally love same pattern this is also the next uh top closet so, core so you've seen it now in a top and mm -hmm. you've seen it now in a dress yeah we got our money's worth of that pattern. yeah and you know what i will say it fits just right across the the t i don't feel like i'm gaping mm -hmm. at the v-neck or anything um I tend to be a little cold though, so I am worried about this open back neck here, so I will throw a scarf on, mm -hmm. but that, but I have like a hundred scarves. So um, yeah, my, my fall, everything from fall is going to move into winter with me, so all the basics. Um, like a black and white striped shirt, I'll move my denim shirt in, I'll move my white shirt in. Mm -hmm. Oh, I have a white shirt. Oh, you do? It doesn't have buttons yet, but you do have a white shirt. Yeah, I have a white <laughs> shirt. Um, and I, I'm going to bring in uh, a couple other pieces. There was a gray long um, 
knit cardigan Ooh, yeah. that I wear all the time. You guys are going to see that in the pictures here at the end because I did um, try to take a picture every single day in October. In October yeah. Um, that montage will be at the end of the video so you can see how she wore her fall wardrobe. I want to say that this was a really fun experiment. Um, I've never done something like this before where mm -hmm. I've taken my closet and I've shrunk it down to just 30 pieces. Because number one, it was so easy to get dressed in the morning because I had 30 pieces to choose from. Yeah. And I knew they all went together, so I didn't have to think too hard. Um, the only downside to that is, I'm, well, it's not really a downside, it's, I'm learning stuff out of it. I tend to shop like I'm going to be some high-powered business lawyer or something, but I <laughs> live more like um, jeans and a sweater. And so I'm going to probably try to alter my shopping to be yeah. more jeans and a sweater and a little less like Ann Taylor high, what was it, Ann Taylor high fashion? Well, it's just b business, business professional. professional. Yeah. A little bit, bit mm -hmm. less business professional. Yeah. I think my post-COVID life is not as business professional as my pre-COVID life was. Yeah. So things I'm carrying forward, all this stuff, plus um, sticking with the purple, I've got this great cashmere here that I picked up. That's a good will. I'm so lucky. And then I we are loved, such cashmere sw snobs. And it's all thrifted. Snob. It's, it's all, all thrifted. thrifted. Um, and then I am incorporating this scarf. This is a scarf my sister brought back from the Philippines for me. It's hand woven and it's got purples and the so kind of the green and the teal and everything in it. And um, like I said, my neck gets cold. Yeah. Um, my office shifts between 50 and 80 degrees. So <laughs> I like to dress in layers. So I've got that great scarf. But what I want to talk to you guys about is is winter because now um, the rest of you cool summers out there with me, we're looking at grays and we're looking at blacks and we're looking at a lot of things that maybe just not our best presence. Mm -hmm. So this winter I am focusing on blues and navies. And I went shopping in my closet this um, to, to add on to my capsule. And some of the basics that I'm going to add is just a basic navy crew neck. Mm -hmm. Um, I've actually already worn that with these jeans as a monochrome work look and um, I also want to show you guys something I made. I'm super excited about it. <laughs> I made this sweater. Uh, it is the, it's Malbrigo yarn and the pattern is called Seeing Spots and it was a free knit along for October and I'm just really proud of it that it fit. And then finally, it's really cute on. Um, keeping the purple blazer in this because yeah. this is, is life. But I have this so great, like, very holiday appropriate so good velvety uh, deep teal blazer. Yeah. And with my little pop of color here is a scarf. But I do also want to show you something else because I watched your video yeah. about your shacket. Yeah. Shackets are super in. I love my shacket. Yeah. But this year I had my eyeballs on something and for my birthday I got it for myself. And I want to show you and I want to show you. This is my vintage Nordic sweater. And I have always wanted one of these. Um, when I a long time ago, I lived in Minnesota, and my friend um, told me about Dale of Norway, and I was like, I don't know what this Dale of Norway business is. She's like, Oh, it's this really heavy duty knit sweaters because you live in Minnesota now. You need one. Yeah. And they're really expensive. And then I went to the Olympics in Salt Lake, and I really wanted one, but I just couldn't part with those bills. But I found this on Etsy. Um, it was actually shipped from Latvia. And it is so good, you guys. There's not a hole in it. It doesn't smell funny. And my favorite part about it are these silver clasps. I'm going to bring one up here to the camera to show you. So, so this good. is going to be my shacket this fall because it is oversized. Yeah. I think it's going to look great with my black jeans. I think it's going to look great with these deep, dark wash oh, yeah. jeans. I can layer it over thin sweaters. And uh, this is going to be my, like, midweight coat. Yeah. Essentially this winter. Uh, we haven't gotten into the depths of winter of Indiana where it's down to like three and the wind bites through you. Yeah. But when it's it coming. does, this will be, I'll get a real winter coat out. <laughs> uh, oh, and then finally, you know, we all have things that we just like kind of play with. So I pulled out, I retired my white pants. Yeah. And instead I'm bringing in some corduroy. So these are a, a fine well corduroy pant. They're ready to wear and I also have a pair in navy. So, so that's good. my fall plan. Yeah. And, I think that you're gonna make me something. Right. I think you're gonna make me something I am. that goes with this palette. I am gonna make her something that goes with this palette. So I found this um, pre-quilted, it's a cotton wadding with the, the batting from Minerva and it's two-sided. I've actually made something for myself out of this. You guys haven't seen it yet. You will at some point. Um, 
it's a pattern that I'm waiting to be released, but this is the beautiful teal colorway. So it's the dark and the light. Jenny has asked for a bomber jacket of the dark side, right? Right. And um, I'm gonna be using the Kimball bom Bomber by Cashmerette. It is there, because we went online so you can see both sides of it. Um, but it is their, um, oh, it was their very first pattern that they released with their club. So if you have the all access um, Cashmerette club, you have access to that pattern as well. I've made one. Um, my embroidered one that has, it looks like it's from, yes, Anthropology. So I'm going to be using that same pattern for Jenny's bomber jacket. So she is getting a teal bomber jacket yeah. with this beautiful pre-quilted fabric. I'll leave a link to this. It comes in a few different colorways and it's stunning. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. So I'm really excited. Um, so I'm excited for winter. I'm, get, I'm excited uh, that this will be my Christmas dress. Yeah. And um, I've got some knitting that is going to be in the purple world and I'm, I'm set. Yeah. The best part about this is that I have found my shopping has cut down mm. because I figured out what I need and I look for those pieces. Yeah. And I don't have to shop. Yeah. Um, now there's also things like, well, I'd really like that, but am I going to really wear it? Yeah. So I've, I've really pared back the shopping. And yeah, honing our thrifting hones everything kind of when you have a color palette you're working from. And like she said, she shopped a lot of this from her current closet, which is also the beauty of having things in your color palette. Really the only new thing that's up here, this is my, this is my hi people. <laughs> this is my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> Cleveland is magical. This is the one new thing in, a, in addition to the vest. Yeah. Everything else came, oh, this one I gotta show you. This oh, is this is a thrifted one, okay, yeah. I found this thrifted, okay? It is a cashmere sweater. It's v-neck. It's got a little puffy sleeve and gathered here. Um, here's the tag from the store. Here's the tag from the Goodwill. So I paid so good. $5. I wonder what it was before. It doesn't have the price tag on it. Well, I mean, it's not like fancy dancy cashmere but it's, but not it's like... beautiful it's absolutely beautiful that's gonna be so flattering on you too because it's ribbed there's like a ribbed pattern here at the torso that's gonna be so flattering yeah I'm thinking with the black the black wide legged jeans yeah yeah I know that's a good one and like I said I like to have a little thing around my neck so yeah I have, I have lots of scarf options for that yeah um, but those are the only two new things that came out of this whole well, and plus my Nordic sweater, but that was my birthday present. And yeah. that was in August, and I couldn't yeah. wear it in August. Right. So now you really get to bring it out. I should wear it tomorrow. You should. <laughs> I should wear it tomorrow. That's the beauty of the capsule. And, um, yeah, I think everything worked really well in the fall. And, again, there'll be a montage at the end. I'm going to put all of her pictures to some music at the end so you can kind of see how she was wearing her um, fall capsule. I know a lot of you that are cool color palettes were interested to see how she made fall work for her. Yes. And she did a great job. Well, thank you. You're welcome. This is so fun. Oh. Uh, I, I, I do have to say th something about Whitney to all you guys out there because I've seen all the comments. I've seen all the emails. I see everything else. And this lady is working her tush off. Um, so give her a little love down there in the comments. Give her a little love any way you can. Uh, this has been a busy season and she has made time to make me clothes and I am at the, maybe the lowest tier on the ladder of what's going on. No, now. so no, you're keeping me afloat. For those of you who don't know, Jenny is my part-time employee, part-time right now. Fingers crossed. Okay. My boss okay. might be watching right. this. <laughs> She's my part-time employee. She's really been helping a lot and her children um, with a lot of the behind the scenes stuff to um, to get things up and running. And we'll be talking more about that soon. Guys, we're so. official. We have business cards. We do have business cards. It's very exciting. Yeah. So, <laughs> so thank you. Thanks for being yes. so Oh close. my gosh. Uh, yes. And I can't wait Dear to spring. Yeah. Oh, you'll shine in spring. That'll be your, <laughs> your time. I've already started thrifting for spring. <laughs> So good. Okay, guys, that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. Again, we'll have the montage here at the end. Um, I'll be back on Sunday for more Vlogmas. And then uh, Tuesday, I think, might be a So the Look. So stay tuned for that one. Okay, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys again on Sunday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.